I got my boot off, and you've come in with this now. Uh, no, what happened? Uh, I had surgery yesterday. Um, it's just an old injury that I really been needing to get done. Um, so I finally got it done yesterday in LA. Wrist. It's, really, I'm just wearing this because um, I'm around these, these, all these big dudes bumping into me and stuff. But I don't have to wear the sling. It's just for my wrist. So. Is that from all the gunning you did as a player? Yeah, pretty much. That's what Scotty told me. I should have passed more. <laughs> How long are you gonna have to have that thing on? Uh, I probably had a cast for or the soft cast probably three weeks. Really? Yeah, like three weeks or something. Are the players giving you the business. Yeah, they've been. Me? Yeah, they've been talking crazy to me, man. Of course. It's all good. So you said it's your wrist. Yeah, it's your wrist. Yeah. Yeah. like I heard it on tour. I can't, I can't name the name of it. It's too long of a name, but so I knew I've been having had a surgery since last summer. But I said, let me just get it out of the way, man. How'd you care? It was an old injury. I had fractured my wrist one time trying to break my fall, and uh, you know me, I never set out. I never, I just kept playing, and it just over time it just wore, wore, and then finally just went last July. I tried to rehab it back. They said no rehabbing. You gotta get surgery. So. so this is a long enough ago injury that it was when you were still playing. Yeah, this was like 2009. Yeah, I just kept, kept name grinding, much? kept grinding. What, what did you think of Scoot's performance? Oh, I thought it was good. I thought it was cool. I'm not a big fan of any of them little all-star situations because it's not very competitive. So um, I don't really put too much stock in. I just told them just try not to get hurt. But I know they weren't gonna be playing serious, so. Yeah, I didn't even watch the other game. <laughs> I didn't even watch that. I don't even watch that. Not like it was when you played, right? No. Well, you know, I didn't even, there was one All-Star game that I really enjoyed. It was my first one. Because all four of, it was four, I had four of my, three of my teammates. Um, and our coach was coaching it, Flip was coaching it. And like, we all checked in at the same time. And we checked in to play serious. And we turned the whole game around. It was un it was unbelievable. So everybody was playing defense after. So I had so much fun in that game, you know. Um, but otherwise, like, there weren't a lot of people that even took it serious then. Kobe did. Kobe played hard every time. Any of our guys. But most of them was just trying to chill. So KG played hard every time. So I never really enjoyed those things. But um, we still made it competitive when we played. To see it now, I don't, I don't even watch that. <laughs> How do you feel about your chances uh, to get to the Hall of Fame on your uh, your second? I don't know. I'm 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 happy, you know, um, to have made it to be a finalist. Obviously, you know, um, I'm not lying, man. Like I, I, I never even dreamed about the Hall of Fame. You know, I didn't even think that that was even a thing. Like I dreamed about making it to the NBA. And, then I dreamed about being a champion, all-star. You know, I never really even dreamed about the Hall of Fame, which I call like basketball heaven, you know. Um, but man, it's, it's awesome to be in it, you know, to have a chance at it, you know. And um, I'll, be, I'll be waiting by my phone, you know, to see if I make it. How many of those ceremonies have you been to? Like, I assume you went when Ben got in. Like, how many of those have you done? Yeah, I've been, I've been to probably three. There was one year I had to go because I won the, um, this, um, Twyman Stokes Award, uh, the, the first one of those. And, um, so I had to be there at that one. I've seen, obviously, Ben's, um, a couple. I've been to, like, two or three. It's always an incredible event, man. Um, and to be there, because I had never even been to the actual Hall of Fame to tour it until I went for the first time. And man, I spent like five hours in there. It was it was awesome, man. It was awesome. What do you think of uh, of doo -wop getting her uh, full contract? I just love to see people get what they deserve, man. You know, and he deserves it. He's earned it. Um, he's he's done ex exactly what we ask of him all the time, and uh, he's made a, a great impact on our team. And so I, I was happy, you know. Uh, that was maybe the most happy thing that happened over the, over the break is being able to talk to him after he was just so grateful and so thankful, man. And it was, it's, it's really what this thing is all about. To be able to bring somebody in that's been fighting and clawing to try to make the league 
bring him in a summer league and be able to, to have him grow to a level of getting an actual contract is, is unbelievable, man. So I was very happy for what. Is he in many ways a perfect compliment to DA and Williams when Williams is out? You know, I think he is. He brings us something, you know, that's totally different from those guys, obviously. Um, you know, in the way that he can shoot the basketball, um, he just gives you different options, you know. Um, and those guys obviously will miss some games. It just is what it is. And you feel comfortable and confident if it's WAP there sitting as, as your third center. You feel good about that, you know. So I, I was happy about that stability, too.